Okay, hello dear friends. Nothing is as good as simple and uh, and uh, no complication. I am not using my mic, new mic. I do not like it and it's just uh, it's a good mic but uh, it uh, does not work well with my location with my function. I think I am going to change another one. And uh, <clears throat> So let's solve some problem, math problem. And we solve this problem as the real teacher uh, in the classroom instead of uh, as a presentation with a PowerPoint. So first we copy this problem. I think it is very important that uh, we take the time to write down the problem. It's not comfortable for me now. What is 1 6 of 12? It's very simple, this problem. So you can do it by drawing a line. Drawing a line that is totally 12. Uh oh, what is wrong with this one? Yes, this way. So, this is the most mathematical, or uh, uh, this is the most uh, honest way. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, totally is twelve. One, six. So you have to divide it equally into six parts. Okay, one part, because we know 12 divided by 6 equal to 2. So <clears throat> each part is 2. 1, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1 out of this is 6. This is one out of it, this one, two out of it, three out of six, uh, three, uh, one out of six, two out of six, three out of six is half, right? Four out of six, five out of six, six out of six. So we need one out of six. So there are two lines, two little um two little uh, blocks. Each block is one centimeter, and we make it. And you do not need to use a centimeter or what. It could be an inch, could be, could be a particular block. So one unit, two unit, and uh, one six of 12 units is two units. So you can do like this, one six times 12 equal to 2. This is your mathematic solution, mathematic uh, solving problem method. And the number 2 is, I try to, sometimes in my class, what I realize is that uh, um, we prepare a lot of time to prepare a PowerPoint and type it on. And in the class, when you put the problem as a PowerPoint, it does not have enough time for students to process that problem. So it, um, it is kind of you spend a lot of time and do not have the same effect. Slow down. We, no matter how technology develop, no matter how smart, our smartphone, our, our equipment, our tools become. People's way of solving problem, we still need to think, and we still need to give ourselves time. And by reading and by just writing it down and thinking about it, write each word, even think about my word writing is pretty or not, or my word writing is good, is correct or not, grammatic, uh, uh, 
grammatically right or not will help us to solve the problem. So what is one six of five million five hundred fifty five thousand six hundred twenty two? Gosh, I am so comfortable using Chinese. 525,622. Okay. So, you will not be able to draw a line of uh, 5 million. It is just too long. And the problem we are trying here is to use something visible until you figure out a formula, a function to solve this problem. Then you will start to use the formula, the function, instead of using the real measure. So, one six of uh, such a huge number, gazillion number, is the same method. One six times five two five five six two two equal how many? And this, we will transfer it into a, a division function, a, a, a division algorithm, right? Division computation. 五六三十五，六七四十二，三十五，五六三十五，十六，呃，六九五十四，二十二，三六一十八，哦吼，四十二，六七四十二。So the result is eight eight seven five nine three seven. So it's um, eight. Eight hundred seventy-five thousand nine hundred thirty-seven. So that is the result. And um, <clears throat> you can use a um, calculator to do it to do this. But I enjoy so much of solving problem with um, with um, with uh, with with hand with my hand. Okay, one third of this. this. Okay, another problem. Let's oh. try. Okay, hello, dear friends. Let's try another problem. One third of the distance between two cities is 10 kilometers. What is the distance between them? One third. One third of the distance. between two cities two cities oh, I, I write it perfectly two cities is make it short 10 kilometer and what is the distance between them what is the distance between them So let's draw a line, one third of the distance. So let's see, we have uh, we will make each three blocks is one. The total distance we do not know. This is city A, this is city B. But we know one third, this little block, one third between these cities is 10 kilometers. So we will figure out how long is A to B, right? So <clears throat> we know one third of the distance D equal 
10. So D equal 10 times 3 equals 30 kilometer. Does it make sense? You can do like this. One third is 10, two thirds is another 10, uh, uh, another distance is here, and then another distance is here. So one third, one third, one third, a whole number, a whole distance divided into three parts. Hello, uh, airplane. <coughs> okay, so, one out of these three is ten. Another one out of three is ten. Another one out of three is ten. So three tens together makes a thirty. You can visually see like this. Okay, this becomes quite um, quite a solve, right? Now we see how this um, <coughs> matter will change. The distance between two cities is ten. Okay, the distance between, I decide to copy this uh, problem so that we can have time to, to think. The distance between the two cities is 10 kilometer, more than one third, more than one third more than one third of the distance between them of the distance between them what is the distance between them what is the distance between them. I haven't read about this problem, so it takes me some time to, to think. Okay, <clears throat> the distance between two cities, the distance between two cities, the distance between two cities is 10 kilometers more than one third of the distance between them. The distance between two cities, we can say as a D, okay? That's the distance. This, the distance between two cities, equal something 10 more, so 10 plus something, okay? This something is, is 10 kilometer more than one third of the distance between them. So one third of the distance between them is uh, one third of D, right? One third of the distance. So now it becomes um, algebra problem. It's only uh, uh, how we compute it. So we can do 3D equals 30 plus D. Do I make sense? Oh, the D, that's not D. Okay, everything times three. Everything times three becomes, on the left side, you times three, on the right side, you times three, because I want to get rid of, uh, um, get rid of the fraction and make everything into, um, make everything into, um, make everything into uh, 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 a whole number, yes. So 2D equals 30, D equal 15, okay? It's a pure uh, computation. So now we know the distance is, is 15. Now we go back to our, uh, to our uh, drawing. So, <clears throat> The distance between two cities, now we know it's 15, let's see if it is right, is 10 kilometer more than one third of its distance. 10 kilometer more, and one third of, of 15 is five. So five plus 10 equals 15. 
perfectly right. So our solution is correct.